PayPal nerd. Hey, today we're gonna be going over the Push Unite goggle system. We're gonna go over some cool features that the goggle has, and then we're gonna go over a complete disassembly and reassembly of the goggle, because I know a lot of you are wanting to know how to do that. So first impressions here, the goggle comes in a hard case, which is form, uh, form fitted to the goggle itself. So this could be in your gear bag in a hard case and still take up just as much room as it would if it was just the goggle itself, which is awesome. Because a lot of the goggle cases out there, the universal ones, of course, are gonna be bigger than your goggle. Uh, what's also cool is that if you don't wanna put it in your gear bag, you can attach it to the outside of your gear bag and still have the goggle protected because it's in the hard case. So let's take a look. Let's open it up. It's got zippers on the side and it just opens up beautifully here. We'll take the goggle out for a moment. In the case, there's a little Velcro pouch and we've got a microfiber in there and we've got an Allen key. And this is for the nose bridge adjustment screw which we'll go over here in just a moment. So let's go over some features here of the goggle. This is a beautiful goggle. Check out the print. They've got a bunch of different prints at pushpaintball.com. This is the Thomas Taylor limited edition. They've also got Hormesis. They've got a Brain Dead collab. They've got a Sandana collab. They've got a camo pattern. Uh, they've got clear models, like a translucent colors. A bunch of different options here. This is one of the most highly customizable goggles on the market. So not only can you change the face mask to a bunch of different options, you can change the ears. You can have a different color ear on each side if you wish. You can change the color of the outer frame here. There's 14 different lens options. You can change the straps. Uh, you can change out the chin strap. There's a bunch of different options here to make this goggle unique and one of a kind. So that's a, that's a really cool part about it. Uh, in addition, you can extend it. They make these XL models, which is a chin extension, which extends the bottom of the mask an additional half inch. So you can get the XL model on their website, or you can buy a chin extension. If you've got the standard model and you wanna just extend it, you can buy chin extensions separately and they come in a bunch of different colors, I think 15 or so different colors. So that's awesome as well. So let's go over some features of the Push Unite goggle. Uh, the venting in the face mask and the ears work together. Okay, the way that they're designed is to expel air and project your voice, and the ears are designed in a way so that's not gonna echo back at you. So when you're yelling, which we're doing a lot on the paintball field, the sound of your voice is escaping the mask instead of kind of staying in here and making you feel like you're, you know, you got a fishbowl on your head. So that was intentionally designed. It's really cool. The ears have venting. The face mask, of course, has venting. Everything breathes really well. And this is a really easy goggle to communicate in. Uh, when it comes to the ears as well, they're separate from the actual face mask, okay? So if you happen to be playing airsoft and you want to shoulder a rifle, and you want to look down the sight, it's, it's not going to move your mask when you're looking down the sights. Uh, and that's intentionally designed as well. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, the, the frame here has what's called a micro brow visor. And this little ridge here is not just aesthetic, this is designed to deflect light from going inside of the mask. So a really well thought out design by Brian Benini. Um, this has got a quick change lens. The foam can be replaced. And probably the most groundbreaking thing that we've seen in the paintball industry is the magnetic chin strap. Uh, this is an industry first in paintball. Push Unite was the first company to offer this and it's become the industry standard. So it disconnects with one hand. You just slide the two pieces apart. When you're ready to play, you got your gun in one hand and the other hand you just reach up and connect it and it snaps together. It's beautiful. Uh, their products are very Apple-esque. You know, I probably say that a lot, but it's really the standard for a great product. So those are the features of the, the Push Unite goggle. It also comes with a thermal lens. All, are there, all, 
of their lenses are thermal. That's the standard. So let's go over how to disassemble this thing and put it back together because I know of you, a lot of you are wanting to know how to do that. So this starts off with the strap. There's some gray tabs here on each side that are connected into a black tab and ultimately connect into black posts on the lens. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this gray tab away from the black tab. And we just do that by pulling it away. Uh, then we're gonna take that gray tab and we're gonna pull it towards us with the lens facing us. And that's gonna release the black tab. The black tab is connected into the post in the lens. We're gonna repeat that on the other side, pull out the gray tab, pull it towards us, releasing the black tab. Now we push the lens posts out and that releases the lens from the frame. Okay, lens just comes out like that. Then we can remove the straps from the system. First, it comes out of the ears, and then you can remove the strap from the mask. We repeat on the other side. Ears first, and then the mask, and the strap is gone. Okay? Uh, then the mask is kind of held together by the foam. So the next thing that we're gonna take out is the foam. Now we wanna grab the plastic that the foam is glued to. Do not grab the foam itself because you're gonna rip the foam. You wanna get your thumb in there and grab the plastic and pull it away from the frame. Okay, don't grab the foam, grab the plastic. Then we do the same thing to the lower. We're gonna start off with the edge here, okay? And then we're gonna start off, and then we're gonna go to the other edge. So first we're gonna pull this edge away. Again, not pulling the foam, but the plastic that it's glued to away from the frame. Okay, then we'll do the other side. And then we'll disconnect the noses. We're gonna pull that from underneath. We're gonna grab the plastic and pull it away from the frame on both sides. And the bottom foam comes out and the chin, the chin strap is connected to it via these Velcro straps. This is where the nose adjustment bridge is, uh, screw is attached. So screwing this out length, lengthens the space at which the nose touches the frame. When you screw the screw in, the foam gets closer to the frame. That's how it works. And in the description below, I'll, I'll include a link to push his video on the nose adjustment screw and exactly what it looks like uh, when you back out the screw and when you screw it in. So that's how the nose adjustment screw works. Uh, the ears are held on with these little rubber posts and they go into the this little home here. They're little, they go into their little home on the face mask. So we can just pull the ears out of there on both sides and the ears come out. Then the frame and the mask connect. We're gonna start here on the outside and pull it away. And then we'll start on the other side on the outside and pull it away. And then it just separates from the frame. So that is the complete disassembly of the Push Unite. I can make it happen a lot faster than that. Um, and let's go ahead and reverse those steps. Let's put it back together. So we're gonna start with the face mask and the frame, okay? The frame, has a little slot here that's gonna match up with the slot on the face mask. So we're gonna put these two pieces together. We're gonna marry them. The slots go in together. They fit like that together. And then there's a hole in the frame and a little post on the mask. We're gonna click those together. Okay, we're gonna push the mask into the little hole on the frame. Click, okay? Then we're gonna follow the nose around and seat it into the frame we're gonna, put, we're gonna put the other post on the mask into the hole in the frame on the other side of the nose. Click, everything's together. Then we're gonna go to the mask and the frame again and match these two slots. The slot here and the slot here, we want them married together, okay? So do bend here and it's all together, boom. Now, what holds the mask to the frame is actually the top foam. So we're gonna take our top foam, 
make sure the push logo is right side up. And we're gonna make sure that this slot of the mask goes into the slot in the frame. So we hold it there, then we take the foam and we slide this tab into the corresponding slot on the frame and you should feel a little click in there. It's not really an audible click, it's more of a feeling of a click. And once it's seated properly, that mask is now held together with the foam. Then there's tabs and these tabs will line up into their slots uh, exactly where they should on the frame. And then we'll hold the other side of the mask into the frame before connecting the foam to make sure it's held in. See, now the mask is held in with the foam. So very important step to make sure that your, your goggle is assembled properly is to make sure that that foam is holding in those little tabs on the mask, okay? Then we're gonna take our lower foam, okay? And the nose adjustment screw, you'll see where that sits in the frame. There's a little hole for it. And we're gonna put that right in there the first slots closest to the nose is where the tabs on the foam are gonna go. So while holding the nose adjustment screw into its little home on the frame, we're gonna take the other hand and connect the tab into the first slot on the frame. We're gonna do that on each side of the, of the nose and we're gonna leave it there for a moment, okay? We're gonna connect the ears next and I'll show you why we're not connecting the, the foam here yet because first, it's easier if we put on the ears. So with the ears, uh, they're gonna go, we're gonna take this little post, we're gonna put it into its little home on the mask, we're gonna slide that right in. And you don't wanna pull it, okay? You just wanna kinda wiggle it in and gently tug at it. You don't wanna pull it and pull this thing off. This is rubber, okay? Then you'll see on the ear, there's this little slot. Okay, this slot is the home for the little tab on the foam. You'll see when you pull back the foam, there's this little tab right here that seats right into the ear. Okay, that's why we didn't connect the foam first. So we'll go ahead and put it right on its home there. Now the ear is married to the lower foam. Then we connect the foam to the frame, okay? After we connect the ear. Then we do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're gonna take our little rubber post and put it into its home on the mask. We're gonna take this little slot and fit it right over its home on the foam. And then we're gonna connect that foam tab into the frame. Okay, then all that's left is the strap and the lens. So we're gonna take our strap, make sure it's right side up. We connect it first into the mask. Okay, it just goes right in here, goes to that slot, and then we put it through the slot on the ear. And then we repeat that on the other side. So mask first, then it goes through the, through the ear, and the goggle is basically assembled with the exception of the lens, which will pop in right now. Take the lens, make sure it's lined up into the frame, it's got the, the frame has channels that line up with the lens and you'll see it seat in. When it does seat in, then you can push the tabs of the lens into its slot on the frame, okay? And if there's no large gaps here, it's all consistent around the frame, you know that it's seated properly. Now, securing the lens, we do that with the strap. So the post that's on the lens, we're gonna put that black clip over it. Okay, it fits right over, if it's right over the post in the lens, and then we're gonna pull it away, we're gonna pull the strap away from the lens until it clicks, okay? Then that gray tab that we started with goes right into the black clip. That's what secures it, okay? So again, on the other side, We'll take the black clip, we'll fit it over the lens post until it just fits over it. And when it does fit over it, we'll pull back on the strap, click, it's secured. An extra measure of security is this little gray retaining clip. We'll stick that into its home on the black clip and the goggle is now 
completely assembled and ready to go. So that is the Push Unite. Most highly customizable goggle on the market. More options than any other goggle out there. Check it out.